Gillette World Sport heads to Japan and to the Netherlands to catch up with two of the reigning world champions. Epke Zonderland and Kohi Uchimura are two of the world's most accomplished artistic gymnasts. Zonderlin is current Olympic and world champion on the horizontal bar, whilst Uchimura holds the same accolades in the all-around competition. As both prepare to defend their titles at the World Gymnastic Championships in Glasgow, Scotland, we find out about the training and dedication it takes to compete and to succeed at this elite level. <laughs> Training is mostly very difficult and painful. The only part of training I find especially rewarding or enjoyable is if I accomplish a good routine or perform a skill especially well. If I ever manage to perform a routine that I'm satisfied during a competition, that's when I feel really happy. I always enjoy every second of that moment. If you look at it that way, I guess what I'm doing throughout my training is putting myself through a lot of pain for just a small amount of pleasure. If you choose to become a professional gymnast, uh, you have to live like a, a professional. So it's not only the hours that you train in the gym, but also outside of the gym. You have to think about your rest, you know, you have to recover from training. You need good food. You cannot do all the fun things you want to do with your friends. So you just have to really uh, live like a professional athlete. It's really important that you do a good warm-up before training. Of course, you need to be flexible to do the different skills, but also your muscles to be like almost on fire, you know, before you do the really different skills. So it's really important that you use your time for training uh, to prepare for, uh, for your workout. Another part is what is really important is the, the strength you need for different skills you want to do in, in gymnastics. I spend each morning using gymnastic equipment to stimulate various muscles and to get my whole body working. Then, in the afternoons, I train properly on the apparatus. The morning is therefore dedicated to muscle stimulation training. Spending time working on flexibility and strength is crucial to world-class gymnasts. The ultimate goal is performance at elite competitions, such as the World Championships, accomplishing difficult, precise and impressive routines. It's really important that the technical uh, part, you know, is really important because you can be in top shape, but still if you don't focus on your skills and technically it's going wrong, then uh, you, you probably will fall down. We really spend a lot of time on the, on the technical part and we also have like a video in the gym. After every turn I can analyze you know, my skills and see what I did good or uh, probably wrong, you know, and how, can I, how I can uh, improve my skills. Rather than training for long periods of time, I try to have short bursts of high quality training. When there's a big competition coming up, it's really important to build up the routines you're planning to perform by practicing them fully in the lead up to the competition. And I'm very aware of that. I think working that way is probably the best training regime for me if I want to retain my current level. For me, of course, still the most important thing is to improve myself every year, but this year I have to qualify myself uh, during the World Championships. After that, the uh, only focus is, uh, is, is uh, Rio, so uh, that's what it uh, is all about right now. I've won gold medals at the last five consecutive World Championships, and I'm really looking forward to competing again at this year's World Championships. I hope I'll be able to perform some beautiful routines to help the Japanese team win a medal.